basically, can you just tell the story of We All Ugly? Because obviously, when people look at that, like it's kind of a weird yeah. thing to have on a shirt and stuff. So. It is. It really is. Yeah, people people trip out all the time. They'd be like, what? I'm not ugly. Oh uh, man. So the story of We All Ugly kind of goes. I this must have been like I think we started four years ago. So four years ago, it was like 2018. End of 2018, I'm like going through, uh, I'm going to like the malls. I'm just trying to, you know, shop. Like, and I don't, I go to these malls and I'm like, bro. So I'm, I'm from San Diego, born and raised San Diego, uh, national city, like specifically. But, um, I go to these malls and I, I don't see any stuff that like kind of resonates with me. Basically, that's kind of how it goes. I'm like, I see all these like surf skate brands and like, I think you're from Huntington, right? Yeah. So, you know, you know, the life It's like, it's just yeah. like surf, skate, SoCal culture. And I'm like, this is cool. But I mean, I'm, I don't really surf or skate like that. So I don't really want to like, you know, it doesn't resonate with me. And so it gets me thinking of like, dude, you know what? I feel like, and I look at the price tag and I'm like, damn, this thing's a hundred bucks. I'm like, dude, yeah. like, I can't, I can't pay that, you know? So I'm like, I feel like I could make my own stuff for cheaper. So that's where like the start of the rabbit hole kind of began. And so, um, from there I started brainstorming ideas of like, what, you know, what kind of brand do I want to start? And at that point it was literally just like, what kind of putty do I want to make? Literally that's all it was. It was like, what do I want it to say? Whatever. And so we started to think about, I mean, me and my little brother, we kind of started to think about different things. And I'm like, the, the way that the name kind of came about was at that time, I think I was battling with like being, treated certain ways based off of not even just like not looks in a sense like not even just physical looks but like you know money clout like fashion you know your outfit all that stuff like people that had all those things and like like you know people that dress all crazy like you know what i mean i go certain places i wouldn't be dressed like you know with freaking fear of god or like off white or whatever you know what i mean and those people and sometimes those people would treat me differently or not even address me because I wasn't wearing that. And I was like, man, like, you know, and I would go anywhere. I would go like literally to, I would go, you know, to the, these little fashion shows or whatever, little things like that. There's some cool people, but there's some people that are like, won't even acknowledge you because you don't look the part. And then at the same time, I would even go into like some churches and some like pastors would not even like Jeez. the ones, usually the ones that like, you know, were wearing, which no, no, hey, like if you love nice things and you love like spending that money, then cool. But don't treat people differently based off of like, you know, the, how much money you got or whatever. Because like at the end of the day, that's out. I, I was like a little there was a little bit of like feelings. There. And I was like, dude, at the end of the day, like we all every single person, whether you're like a regular person, like a student or you're freaking Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, like A-list celebrities, like we all have struggles and we all go through things and we all have like, you know, and the core of it is we all have sin. Like that's the you know, we all have sin. And so. I wanted it to, I wanted We All Ugly to be a brand that was for everybody. A little bit of my background is, is I came from Young Life. I don't know if you're familiar with Young Life in your like area, but Young Life is like, uh, kind of like a youth group, but for like public schools in a sense. Okay. Basically what we do is we int introduce like adolescents to Jesus and we'll help them grow in their faith. And so I'm on staff with Young Life, but I wanted to be, I wanted We All Ugly to be something like that to where. It could be for everybody, but it wasn't necessarily a Christian like clothing brand. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because I saw so many, and I was like, ah, I don't want to just make a Christian clothing brand because then only Christians will rock it. And I'm like, I don't, I don't yeah. want that. I want. That's kind of where it started. I was like, all these things. I'm going through all these things. Like, what do I want this brand to be? And then uh, I come up with the the like the name. At first, it was We Always Ugly. Kind of like like if you've heard of DGK, the skate brand, Dirty Ghetto Kids. I think it sounds familiar. I don't so, know. Dirty Ghetto Kids, when I was, like, growing up, like, when I was, like, really young, Dirty Ghetto Kids was, like, one of the biggest, like, skate brands. And it was literally DGK. Like, that was their thing, DGK. Okay. And so I was like, okay, where can I, like, get letters, you know what I mean? And my name that some, one of uh, my friends gave me was Wowie. Like, Maui, but with an upside-down M. So, Wowie. So, and I was like, okay, wow. Like, wow is cool. Like, you know, W-A-U. Like, that's pretty cool. And you can say wow, or you can, you know, use those three letters. And I was like, okay, I took that. This is like 3 a.m. in, like, just thoughts in my head. You know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. you know those nights where you're just, like, thinking about things, and you're like, oh, shoot, yeah. like, I gotta write this down. So, I write those those three letters down, and then I start thinking about words. I can go to that. And then um, I end on We Always Ugly. That was kind of like dirty ghetto kids kind of vibe, whatever. Mm -hmm. And what I thought. And then so I'm like, 
I tell my brother, he's like, oh, that's cool. I tell my dad, he's like, oh, that's cool. And then I'm like on my way, I'm driving with like some of my friends and I'm like shooting around the ideas. And I'm like, look, I, this is the idea of the brand. I want it to be all about authenticity, being like, you know, humble and like how every single person has flaws. Like every single person is flawed. Nobody's perfect. Like perfection, that idea of like perfection of money or or outfits or whatever it is of just perfect life on social media is not possible. Like we all ugly, like we, every person struggles. So yeah. I tell my friends this and then they're like, what about we all ugly? Like one of my, my friend Swaggy specifically, he's like, what about we all ugly? And I was like, yeah, I was like, that's perfect. Cause it's like, we all ugly. You don't say like, that's not even a perfect like phrase. Yeah. Like literally like you, it doesn't, it doesn't like in English, it doesn't make sense. Like it's like, we all ugly. Like it's a, it's just weird. You know what I mean? It's just a, yeah. but the amazing part about it, I was like, dude, this thing stands out. It's two letters, three letters, four letters. It's like perfect. And then from there I was like, okay, next, what is it like to like actually have a brand and, you know, logos and all that stuff. But that's kind of a little bit of, I mean, a, a little bit of the story of how it came about was just went to the mall, didn't want to pay that stuff, came up with an idea of like who I wanted to reach or the, like what I wanted the brand to be about. And then, coming up with the name and i honestly believe god blessed me with the name like god literally dropped the gem like here you go go out and do my work and show people tell people about me but the people that are never going to step foot in the church that's literally what i feel like he said so yeah man a lot of the times sometimes it's like it's just like clothing because like it looks cool but there's yeah. like actual meaning and it's mm -hmm. it gives more value too that's exactly what i wanted bro i didn't see Honestly, I didn't see any brand like this when I would go to the mall. I didn't see like any anything like this. I was just like, oh, that's cool fashion wise. Like, you know what I mean? It looks cool, has cool colors, you know, the fabric or whatever. And with that, those are things that I still love. Like I'm growing to love now. But at the time I was like, there's there's no there's nothing really that means anything here. You know what I mean? Like and so that's what I wanted it to be. I wanted to fill that space. I got the fit from Wowie, how we get it to fit so nicely. Thank you.